so I wanted to actually continue the message and processing that I was speaking about in the previous video. It truly is sometimes the best to walk away from someone despite how much you care for them, despite how much you love them, how much you wish them safety, health, growth, expansion, abundance. And it is also having faith and trust in the unknown and what will unfold as one makes a different choice. Sometimes it's far more liberating in the moment, and as time moves by, naturally, as one flows through life, it will present the blessings and opportunities for one to implement the action that one has chosen, whether to step away or to continue to pursue. I'm recognizing that it, in this case at least, it takes a lot of space for me to actually acknowledge that this connection is not as healthy for me. And it's kind of like, in a sense, it doesn't matter actually how much I love this person. Not because love doesn't matter, or these emotions don't amount to anything, that's not the point. <laughs> it's literally about actually choosing to love myself more in this moment of discernment that it comes with the responsibility of also saying goodbye to things that I have always felt like I needed or feared that I would lose. It's a new energy for sure, especially as someone who likes to just keep trying their best and keep saying if things work out and wanting the best and feeling like my presence will allow that when in reality no one can choose anything for me except me. And just as much for other people, they will continue to choose to the best of their abilities for themselves. So. To act in this moment um, out of self-love is coming in the forms of starting the process of truly releasing this energy. It's more so calling in that abundance and knowing very clearly that I deserve all the things in which I desire and in which I need. The needs are not, the needs are not, not important. It just sometimes can't be met in the same ways in, when, in which one communes with yourself. And so that's where the discernment comes in. Because it's like their own choices are their own. So how shall I respond? This isn't a space where I'm not being controlled by my emotions, but it is teaching me a lot. All of these repressed emotions especially come forth because there's something that is not okay. It's not working for me anymore. As, as I make that decision in itself, it immediately came up. The fear. The fear of losing someone very important, very significant, very beautiful. And yet at the same time understanding that their presence in my life isn't what truly allows me to experience my life, you know? It's me that loves that. I'm the one who gives this to me. This is the communion between me and me. So yes, sometimes it is being around someone so differently and being challenged by those things and expanding one's own awareness. And then it's also just as much choosing myself in the end because I love myself and I know that I deserve what I need and I desire. And that's why I'm very assured. I'm very assured 
I'm very assured and I'm very sure. I don't know what comes from making this different choice. I don't know. Because in every situation, it will always be different. Because people change. Naturally. They change. So with love to all and harm to none, I wish you the best if you too face a situation like this. Where you wish so desperately for someone to finally see their greatness and you say all the words that you could and you you just endow them with love that comes from you naturally without love bombing, without attachments. Because that love in itself that you've given them has encouraged so much abundance to be cultivated and yet at the same time that they do not choose to actually be inspired in such a light that they continue to choose not to show up in the relationship, then what the fuck is this even? If this isn't between me and you, if it's just between you and you, then why am I here? You don't need me to be here. Sometimes that's a hard pill to swallow, and therefore I'm acknowledging that I don't need them. As much as I thought that I desired them to be in my space, I'm also recognizing that that in itself was me feeling like I needed another person in my space to actually experience this joy, to experience this self-assured nature of being within my own being. I hope this message comes across because honestly, this is so important. <laughs> I can't wait to talk about this more, so I'm wishing you the best as always. Peace out.